There's something about this mod right here that I just think is awesome. We gotta look at it. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we've got some new mods for you. Finally, it's been almost a whole week. So what we've got for you is the Bison Cutter Trailer. So if you guys are using that, we've also got what I think is one of the neater mods that we have today, the Fork Mount Rubber Scraper. This is cool, comes with quite a few different things. Show you guys everything. We've also got a new disc hero, as well as a two updates. We've got one for a shed, and then we've got one for the cow shed, but it's a mystery. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Bison Cutter Trailer. This is the Z056 Cutter Trailer. We had this in Farming Simulator 17, and now it is here on 19. So this works perfectly with the Bison Harvester right here, the Combine Harvester, and the Wheels Match, which is great. I mean, it just, it looks like it was meant to be the whole time. So if you guys are using this, you gotta get it. Let's check it out. Where are you gonna find this? Well, header trailer is very nice and easy. It's gonna be right here. Boom. $1,500. It's very, very price appropriate, I think, for the rest of the system going on right here. So just take that. No customization available for it. And it works perfect. Uh, just know that you need to get it back a little bit. I didn't get this on here quite right. And I had a devil of a time turning. So just make sure you get it back far enough and you'll be good to go. There it is, the Bison Cutter Trailer. Next, we've got a new member to the Amazon Catros family, the 4500. You could find this in Disc Arrows. This is not going to be a cultivator. This is in Disc Arrows, and boom, right here, right with the rest of them. So now we have, <laughs> we've got quite a few of these. We have the 6002-2, now we have the 4001, 4500, and the 6002-2TS. And we got a quite a few of these. This kind of sits right in the middle, 4.5 meters, goes 10 miles per hour. You need 160 horsepower to run this guy right here. It is a three-point hitch, just keep that in mind as well. And we have three different wheel options. We have a standard, we have wide tires, and narrow tires. So whichever one you like, you can go with. Now, the price for the tires are a little bit high. $1,200 for the wide tires and $1,000 for the narrow tires. So I honestly say, unless if you're doing this for money, just stick with the narrows or the normals rather, the standard tires. It's gonna do you just fine. Again, there you go, the Amazon Catros 4500. Next up, this is our last new mod today. This is the Fork Mount Rubber Scraper Pack. Now, I have one issue with this, and maybe this is just a me thing. Maybe this is you guys as well. Before we even get into it, the description of this in the mod hub is fork mount rubber scraper pack heavy duty rubber scraper for use on farmyard roads and stables reconditioned rubber reinforced with steel wire durable rubber available for feed alleys and damaged delicate floors and the rubber is reversible hey that's all great none of that actually helps us <laughs> with stuff in the game you just need to know how to use it in the game this is not real life now we're done with that Let's take a look at it. You're gonna be able to find this in levelers. It's gonna be right here, fork mount rubber scraper. This will push anything. It's cheap, $1,000. Uh, and it will push around 1,500 liters in itself, but as any leveler works, just keeps moving that stuff over and over and over again. $1,000, if you guys wanna change the color up, it's gonna cost you $200 regardless of what color you pick. You can choose any color you would like. This is a lizard brand, so if you're wanting to find this, it is in the lizard section. So $61 initial leasing cost, $1,200 if you wanna buy this. Now, there are two things that you need to use this with. This will not work with the normal pallet forks. This hooks onto pallet forks, by the way. It will not work with the normal pallet forks. You have to get the modded versions that come with this mod pack. So once we're in front loaders, you're gonna be going over a while, so especially if you've got as many installed as I do. If you're curious which one it is, you're gonna see at the bottom in the description it says fork mount rubber scraper. Boom, right there. Otherwise, this is exactly like the one in game. Color choice is all exactly the same. So we have a front loader and a telehandler version. Again, it will not work with the standard pallet fork. So you will have to bump over until you find the pallet forks that it comes with. Fortunately, I don't have as many telehandler stuff installed. Here it is, the Magsy Pallet Fork, fork mount rubber scraper. Boom, right there. 
how do you hook up to this thing? Well, let's jump in and check it out. So I'm going to go forward. And I should probably turn on my window. There we go. And you just hook up to it like anything normal would. Now, once you get down to the ground, you can use this to push things. You can use this to clean up animals, that kind of thing. The only issue is, I've had this happen a couple times, is when you disconnect from it, it just kind of drops it on top of your pallet forks. It doesn't drop it to the ground. So you kind of have to just get it off of there. <laughs> there we go. So that, that's the issue right there. And if it's upside down, it flips out. But it will load back up there. So just be cautious with this piece of equipment right here. <laughs> you know, just sit it down nice and easy. There you go. Be like, be like Peter Griffin with a forklift on this. Just nice and easy. There it is. There you go. The fork mount rubber scraper pack. We've got two updates for you today. The first update is the machine shelter with lighting. So this change log 1.0.1 added mask areas for snow. So if you are using the machine shelter with lighting, make sure that you update this so that you can use it with seasons. If you want to be able to find this, you need to go into sheds and then just bump over into the machine shelter with lighting. Now I have every single shed installed. So it's going to be right here between machine hall and old machinery shed. There you go. Right there. Uh, there is no customization option. So whichever you use, there you go. This is where it gets interesting right here. So we have an update to the cow shed or cow barn. Uh, online it says one thing, but in game it says something completely different, which I've always had a problem with. They still haven't fixed it. Cow pasture right here, $100,000. Uh, it'll hold 50 cows. This is an update and it's update 1.1, but we have no idea what the update is. It does not mention it anywhere in the change log. I've looked. I found nothing. I assume this is a seasons update, seeing that that's what we are seeing with mods like this that are basically great mods, perfect. They work exactly the way they should. There's only one thing to do, update it for seasons. But I cannot confirm that, but that's what I'm assuming. Regardless, if you are using this, make sure you go ahead and update. And if you have any issues with updating it, if you're using it in your game, let me know down in the comment section below take a look at it all right guys well that is going to be it for today three new mods two updates that's all we've got right now we've had a whole week of no mods in between the last ones we got and today so hopefully we will be getting more mods tomorrow we shall see make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that but with all that being said hope you have a great day we will see you later peace